Join us on WLOX News Now at 6. A small portion of Deer Island is up for sale tonight. Yeah, the state owns most of the 400 acre island, but an eight acre section has been privately owned for decades. Noah Noble joins us live tonight with what the future could hold for Deer Island. Well, if you have three and a half million dollars laying around, that small section of Deer Island could be yours. It's a wilderness island loved by coast boaters, but developers have long talked about or, uh, condos or even a resort. And the man who owns a slice of this coastal paradise hopes to see that happen. Larry, what do you think about whenever you look behind you and you see Deer Island right there? I, I think of a piece of property that probably sees about 16 million visitors a year driving through. Everybody who comes to the coast has to go by Deer Island. That's what intrigued me about the island. In 2004, Larry Matringa purchased a section of Deer Island from the Baker family who previously lived on the island for decades. A year later, he struck a deal to sell. In 2005, I had sold the island to a developer out of New Orleans. He was supposed to close on September 3rd of 2005. And of course, Katrina hit on August 29th. And then actually uh, did a development out there. It was called the Oasis on Deer Island. We were ready to go, had uh, plans engineered and had bids out. And, um, and then life got in the way mm. and uh, put that on a back burner for a while. And through the years, many projects have come and gone. One of the biggest hurdles, the lack of infrastructure. The biggest challenge and the one that would cost the most is getting water and sewer out to the island. Biloxi's Community Development Director Jerry Creel has seen many of these projects come before the city. Any development that would happen on Deer Island would have to come before the city. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'd check the zoning to make sure it was correct. We'd make sure that the structures have water and sewer and the utilities, the infrastructure that they need to operate. The most recent resort idea came with a $900 million price tag that Matringa says was ready to go until interest rates jumped. They were set to close last year uh, in June and in the 12 months prior to that interest rates went up 11 times in 12 months mm -hmm. and their original development financing was at four and a half percent and by the time that the, they were called for to close it had approached uh, it was over 10 percent at the wow. time. So now the island sits untouched and Matringa hopes that the for sale sign could breathe new life into his dream. In 20 years, nothing has came to Deer Island. No. Do you think anything will ever come to oh, Deer Island? Oh, absolutely. It's such a unique project, but it's a project that takes some vision. It takes a little bit of um, foolishness, probably. Tenacity, I guess <laughs> yeah, oh, ab absolutely. It. I've always dreamed in my retirement that I want to tend bar and cook cheeseburgers out on Deer Island. That was my, that was my goal, yeah. and, uh, and it still is. As for how people would get to the resort or condos on Deer Island, well, there's been a lot of ideas thrown around, everything from duck boats and ferries to even a gondola system. Of course, we won't know for sure until one of these projects gets off the ground. Live in Biloxi, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.